All that matters when you're bodybuilding is your performance when you're training. That is your metric. That's how you know if things are going right or going wrong. Because this is where we make the strides. If I'm exceeding my previous performance, everything is just fine. We're moving along. Coming in here and training today, I feel amazing training. And it is such a contrast to the way I was feeling the last few days. Everything's fine. I just needed to come and, and perform my job. How I perform the job dictates whether I'm successful in this field or not. What is up, heavy duty crew? It is September 29th, Sunday, 9.30 p.m. 9.28 to be exact. Uh, we're training late this evening. I put training off, you know, family comes first. And uh, if I'd have waited any other time during the weekend, it would have kind of put everybody else in a bind. So put it on the back burner, doesn't matter. We were prepared, we did our rest. We did our eating. You know, we can come in and smash it anytime that's available to us. And uh, the beauty of this system is I don't have to be in here every day. So just got to make the day that I show up count, which is what we're going to do today. So I did my warming up. I'm ready to go. So the introduction is going to lead right into the first set. First set. Single arm preacher curls like last time. I'm going to go up two and a half pounds and uh, six to eight rep range. Here we go. With the extra force negative on that one it moves real good i noticed from last week to this one that arm stayed planned in a lot better just better reps whoo felt good looks good too but yeah i gave myself the extra force negative it wasn't falling as uh brutally as it did last time so i wanted to get it up get uh get failure in the opposite direction uh, that was excellent so i'm just gonna chill a little bit and get in and hit this arm i should have hit this arm first because this is the weaker one but it's all right we'll just rest we gonna get it don't forget about getting a shirt, guys. All right, I should probably wait a little bit more, but I'm itching, man. That first set felt so good. This arm, every fiber engaged. That's what it's all about. All the motor units were recruited. I can tell, you know, growth was stimulated. It just took one. And the evidence that uh, the last one did its job was that I was able to do more weight this time better reps. Always improving, guys. People's problem with this training method is they feel that it's minimalist. No, it's not minimalist. It's about doing what's required, and it's required that I train infrequently. I don't convolute the program so I can be in here six days a week, five days a week. I value progress more than anything else. As much as I love to train, as much as I love this feeling right here, I will not let it hinder my goals long term. It's facts over feelings. Let's go. <clears throat> Oh my God. Oh. Ah, see, I didn't try to force that one. That was scary. Shit was turning off. Yeah, this is the bicep I tore at work, you know, in 23. But wow, great pulls on it, you know? Everything felt fluid, right in line. Reps were absolute bangers. Power was there. I noticed that when I was setting up, my tension wasn't right and it didn't feel right. I got it in a position, relaxed my mind, focused, and then it was on. Let that be a note to you guys. If anything feels funny, you get set up and you start moving and it still feels funny, shut it down. Come back. See if you can repair that. Don't go into it fucked up or it might end fucked up. It's going to be a great workout, guys. God damn, I needed to be back in here. It's already good. <laughs> All right. We come into the hammer curls. Did 25 last time. I'm going to go up to 30. 
might be too big of a jump, but hey, if we get five reps, those were all effective reps, right? So that's a win. Uh, before I start, I'll just give you guys a little cue on these. It might be helpful for you. So when you're using this cable, the benefit of having a cable is you can have constant tension, tension that gravity wouldn't otherwise provide. Standing slightly away from the cable with the pulley on the outside of my body, when I'm in this position, it is pulling my arm backwards. So I'm having to maintain tension right here. Come up and across the chest, not here, but there. You'll feel the tension here to here. Here is just squeezing my bicep against my shoulder. Here is my brachialis and my forearm, which is what we're trying to train, right? So that's the benefit of training with the cable is to keep that tension. Same thing when we do in our lateral raises. When I'm down at the bottom, it's pulling me and I'm having to keep myself out. That's maintaining constant tension. There's a reason I don't use free weights anymore, guys. It's not because I'm some kind of sissy. It's because exercise equipment has, equipment has evolved, right? Everything got better. They went from dumbbells to barbells to Smith machines to regular machines, cable systems. Everything is a step forward. Now, a lot of it over-designed, over-engineered, trying to be novel, but we can use our heads and we can figure out that there's a better way to do stuff. And frankly, these hammer curls are better. They're just better. Now let's see if I can even do a set. Ooh, that's heavy. That's a lot of tension. <clears throat> right there is where you want it. Ah. Ooh. So yeah, seven to 30, clean reps. That was good right there. I liked it. Uh, oh. uh. Next week, we'll do our week on first, but definitely feels totally different after that injury, you know. It doesn't hold the same, the grip isn't the same. Plus, I mauled myself earlier today with a kitchen knife. So, squeezing really hard, it's probably gonna start pumping blood out later. It's nice and deep. That was fantastic. So now we'll move on to our uh, tricep dip machine. Hit those long heads. <sighs> on to the next one, guys. That was awesome. Let's take a look at it, huh? So that segues into something I wanted to talk about a little bit. Work hasn't been ideal conditions. I've been trapped in a machine for 10, 12 hours a day, constantly looking over one shoulder. Over the week, man, this led to massive migraines, tightness through my neck, affecting the way I can eat. Just brutal. And it started making me question everything I was doing. Like, man, I can't get this food down. I'm struggling here, I'm struggling there. Like, this is a scratch, this is sucking. It was supposed to be way different than this, right? And I was having these thoughts earlier today. All of the sudden, bro, my hamstrings just start giving me this excruciating pain, shooting down my calves. You know, and I ain't trained legs for days. But I got on this stretch table at the chiropractor's office and thinking back, Every time I get on that damn table, this shit happens. Anyhow, I'm here in the gym training. All that matters when you're bodybuilding is your performance when you're training. That is your metric. That's how you know if things are going right or going wrong. Because this is where we make the strides. If I'm exceeding my previous performance, everything is just fine. We're moving along. We're getting the job done. Coming in here and training today, I feel amazing training. And it is such a contrast to the way I was feeling the last few days. Everything's fine. I just needed to come and, and perform my job. How I perform the job dictates whether I'm successful in this field or not. So with that being said, let's do an all-time high, 230 pounds, tricep press. Ah! 
Ah, that's about as far back as we want to go. Elbow's a little bit past 90. I should have went heavier. We exceeded our rep range big time. Man. And you know what I think about it? Maybe I did single arm push downs first, but whatever. That was monstrous. Are you winning, Primark? Yeah, Dad. I sure am. Oh, that fucking hurt. All right, so. <sighs> Excuse the, uh, the cloud. Smoke weed every day. Single arm tricep push down. Go up to 40 pounds this week. All time high. Feels good. Been feeling real good. Fantastic session. Super warm from the, the dip machine. And off to the races. stop at eight left arm was a smashing success after rest mm, hit this one same principles 90 degrees elbow pointed at the floor We definitely know that uh, my left arm is weaker than the right, but that's why we prioritize it, train it first. Two rep difference there, but luckily they're about the same size, so not too much of a hindrance. <clears throat> well, that's it for biceps and triceps. I do believe I'm going to hit a set of shoulders as some supplementary volume with the decrease in overall frequency with the new split. I believe I did this last training session. I don't feel like looking at the videos and I recorded my training in a different book. My wife and I have a book and we mix them up and yeah, pretty silly boy. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna do the uh, the cable raise. I do the cable raise on uh, chest and shoulder day. So we'll find another tricep, another uh, shoulder variant, maybe a seated dumbbell lateral. Do us a, uh, a rack run, old school. Sounds fun. 